<laughs> you ever go to somebody concert and you see they forget their lyrics? It sometimes happens when you just put on the spot. That's just life. You see somebody, they're doing an interview and you ask them the simplest question. You're like, what is Shardy on? But it's like, it happens, yeah. you know? So welcome to your first day of being a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you an easier one. So how okay. long have you been living a single life? It's been about almost two years. Two years. And how long has your longest relationship been? Mm -hmm. I'd say <laughs> on and off for like five years. On and off for five years, okay. And why was it five years yes. before you knew that wasn't your person? So, you know, sometimes when you have like a history and like a bond with somebody, you know, it may not be the best for you, but you're like, oh, you know, I don't want to start over. Like, I know them, their family, you know, knows me. Like, why would I want to keep starting over with somebody else when I already know this person? But then I had to realize, like, this isn't working. Like, I'm wasting my time. He keeps like, you know, dragging me back in just to treat me, you know, terribly again. It was like, do I want to keep going through this? And I finally just had to cut it off cold turkey so you cut it off yes so he know he lost a yep. good one he kept trying to get, get back and back huh yep and i yep. knew nothing was gonna change so I'm i was like, like a man <laughs> see this is the thing and this shows your character yep. right i tell people all the time um you could tell who's who by when somebody have certain conversation and dialogue with you yep. and when they ask certain questions and the way they answer them and you simply just saying that you kept trying because you didn't want to start over. That's a big green flag because it means you have patience and patience is a virtue, but it also means you know what you want and you're willing to give time for what you want. Now, the problem is with that is we can't be selfish because humans always want it how they want it, when they want it, but God always does everything in perfect timing. Amen. So as long as you learn your lesson, you know, from every situation so you don't have to repeat it and go back to it and go back through it yeah. you know you'll become a better person and i really do feel there's a connection there. there's something deep with you you're you're not only beautiful but it's something very soulful for about you and i'm gonna make sure my team reach out to you because i will have you on next season of my show because i want to help you find love like forget hold on forget <laughs> us having one bachelor one romeo we may just make you the Juliet looking for your Romeo so what? you can pick from the pick. That's how amazing and dope your vibes are Thank right you. now. I'm loving the conversation. I'm loving your heart and you being an amazing mom. All moms need love, yeah. baby. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. All right. So look, before I get off with you, okay, I got to ask you, what would you think is the most important thing about being in a healthy relationship you know some people may think this is corny or cliche but I'm gonna have to say putting God first wow that's important and you look you don't even have to say much more there because I've asked that question a hundred times right and people always say love the love has to be there but this is what I tell people when you have experience the one thing you realize is that you could get love from everywhere mm -hmm. you could love your mom you could love that that grilled cheese over there. You could love your animals, your pets. Yeah. You, could, you could love so many different things in so many different types of ways. So it's so important to have an anchor outside of love when you go into a relationship. Yeah. And woman, all I got to say is, look, I can't be doing lies because y'all not going to be single. People about to go slide in y'all DM and try to wipe you before we get to season two because I'm coming across some amazing women on here I'm loving the conversation. And sometimes you just need a little guidance. Sometimes you need Romeo, you know, AKA Cupid to push you to the right direction. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So once again, before we get off, say your name, give me your Instagram, and my people will be reaching out to you. Sounds good. My name is Jacqueline, and my IG is Jack B. Nimble. I am typing it in right now. Put it right there. Jacqueline. And it was so amazing to meet you. I'm happy you ended up on my live. I am too. And guess what? The world, the whole, the world need more Jacqueline's. Yes. That's all I'm saying. Yes. I don't think Jacqueline's going to be single for too long. <laughs> if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> have a blessed day. I'm claiming it. <laughs> Peace. Bye. Oh.
right. Should we do one more? Let me see. Jacqueline, my goodness. Jacqueline is a catch. That's all I'm saying. If y'all are just now tuning in, I'm your host, Romeo Miller, of my new show, Finding My Romeo, on In The Black Network, Merge TV Network. And what we're doing right here is we're kind of having a live casting for the next season. I'm trying to find some beautiful Juliets to help find love, you know? And uh, that's why this show is important. You know, it doesn't have to be drama when you turn on reality TV. It doesn't have to be negativity. I wanted to do something that represent us in an amazing light, in a real light, because a lot of people out there have amazing relationships, you know? So um, that's what we're doing. That's why I created this platform. That's why I created Finding My Romeo. Shout out to Dr. Holly Carter, my partner in crime on this. You know, where is Jade at? Is my producer Jade on here? Miss Simone, where are you at? But look, let me see. I'm gonna try to do one more before I head to finish editing this movie. Let's try to do one more. Let's see who picks up. Doom, 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 doom. All right, we're going to try her. Let's see. I got to roll, though. I got to literally be at the editing bank in 15 minutes. We're going to have a little bit more fun. Oh, okay. we got another one. <laughs> What's going on? Hold on, let me Hey, where you went, shorty? Hold on. Where, uh-uh. Nah, I want to see come as you are. Come as you are. This is what hubby going to be waking up to, okay? We want to see. We don't got to do all of that. Come as you are. I like it. Okay, let me clean my um, camera first. <laughs> okay, is this better? You are beautiful. My goodness. See what happened when you wipe that camera, when you get the vision a little bit more clear? Thank so. you. Before we start, because I don't got much time, are you looking for a Romeo or are you just here to talk? I'm just... No, I'm looking for Romeo. But since you're already taken. <laughs> so you're looking for a Romeo or Romeo. You. <laughs> That's not the show. The show is finding my Romeo, a.k.a. your Romeo. Okay. <laughs> So look, before we get going, I need you to introduce yourself, tell the people your name, tell them your age, tell them where you're from, and tell me why you why are you looking for love? So my name is Brittany. Everybody calls me. Oh, uh, it, it went blank. Say that again. We couldn't hear it. It's Brittany, but everybody calls me B with two E's. Okay. Um 34. I'll be 35. Our birthday on the same birthday. On the same date. Hold on. You are August 19th, Leo? Yes. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Ladies and gents, we got greatness in the building. We got greatness in the building. Yes. So uh -huh. I want to ask, ask you real quick, right? Mm -hmm. Where would be the perfect place to travel to with your boo? If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go right now oh. with your Romeo? You see the pyramids. Where you say? To see the pyramids. Egypt. To see the pyramids. Okay. Why you want to see the pyramids? What would make that so special to you? Because it's history and to me it's just like foreign and I'm into history and I love things. Ooh. Uh, okay. So you don't mind going on a little, you know, date to the, a date to the museums and everything? I actually don't. I used to work at the museum for some years. <laughs> Let me find out. So that's one of my favorite things to do is to go to our museum day. But don't tell nobody that, okay? But it makes sense because we born on the same day. August 19th, baby. So look, I don't got much time, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have my team reach out to you. And we're going to talk about getting you on the next season of my show. But I feel like you may be trouble. You may be trying to hit on the host. We can't be having that. We got to keep, you know, I'm just saying can't be you gotta you can't do it. i'm just saying you think you can survive and not you know hit on the host i do my best <laughs> now nah, but you got an amazing smile you got an amazing personality and the thing that i love with these lives and what i've been getting to know with everybody is that it's so much more behind the pretty faces right 
like just asking certain questions, you'll learn so much about people. And just knowing like one of your dream destinations, destinations is to go to Egypt, not just to go and party and turn up, but to learn about the history. I think that's amazing. And I think any man out there be lucky to have some Brit in her life, in their life. Be too easy. So before we get off, you know, I keep saying this. I said before we get off about 20 minutes ago, I just love talking to y'all. But what's the secret talent that you have? I, I can read minds. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Let me find out you're a comedian, okay? <laughs> I do a little bit. I do a little something. No, I'm <laughs> All right, but look, tell the people once again your name, your Instagram. And I want to know one more time. Why do I need to help find your Romeo? Because you're talking. <laughs> See, these August 19 Leos, you got to watch them. That's all I'm saying. But I get it. I get it. I'll do my best, young lady. Give me your Instagram. It's going to be B-E-E-819 -E -E underscore. All right. You got it. Well, have a blessed day. I'm happy you came on here. I'm happy you cleaned off the phone because you're beautiful. And I know we caught you before bed, but just know uh, everything always works out in perfect timing and you will find your Romeo. I got you, okay? Thank you. Thank you for accepting my request. Oh, oh good. Blessings, Queen. All right. Let me see if there's any more on here. You know you got to press exit. Look at you still sneaking off. This woman is something. Girl, press exit. <laughs> and look, I don't know how to do none of the exodus. She's going to be stuck on here for the remainder of my life. There we go. All right, y'all. It's been amazing. I think I'm going to have to cut it short. I got to get to work. I'm actually editing a movie um, that I filmed, Faith Based Project. Um, and also, in Miami with my team, Florida Film House, we're editing another project. So we got a lot of great things coming um, this year. I think I got five films coming before the end of the year. Um, we got Finding My Romeo that just came out. Make sure y'all go watch that stream right now. Um, have a bit, oh, I forgot the biggest announcement of my life. I just signed one of the biggest deals of my life and I'll be announcing everything after comic-con or i may do a surprise announcement at black on the block we're gonna figure it out but you'll hear the news sunday or monday or tuesday but uh, i say that to tell you that even people look at my success right and they think that life is easy or it's like you're you have to um not settle but be content and it's like i'm just now getting to the best version of myself i'm just now really get into the treasures of my heart. And that's what I want y'all to know. No matter what you're going through out there, if you're alive, you can become whatever you want to become. You could be whoever you want to be. Um, success is there for all of us. You just got to truly believe. You got to truly, um, truly put, put the work in. You know, nothing. I don't care if you come from the richest family or, you know, from poverty. You see, you've seen it from both sides of my family. My family from the Calio projects, and then we got family now in Calabasas. But if you want it, you know, just like my brother, you see Mercy Miller, he's the youngest in the family, literally hell of a ball player, but an even better student. And now he's going to one of the top basketball schools in the world, U of H. And it shows with hard work, man, um, you could do anything. I don't care where you come from. Like I read y'all read to y'all earlier, you must know who you are. Um, if you know who you are, nobody could tell you who you aren't. All right? That's what Jesus knew. And let me read this real quick because I write notes to my book. Every time I learn something new each day, I write it down. So I have over a thousand pages of just random little quotes. But this was one. Hurt people hurt people. You can't give what you don't have. Cliche, but the sooner you realize and understand that quote right there, you'll be a lot happier in life. Um, denying our differences is denying the truth of who we really are. You cannot wish for a stronger character, but an easy life. Each is the price for each other. And this one right here, y'all do know an apology without work doesn't repair. 
you're just deflecting the truth. So even when you mess up, I like to tell people, especially the ones when you hit your success, it's not about being perfect, but you'll realize that some of our stars are, are better at being vulnerable and being honest and taking accountability when they mess up. The better you are at taking accountability, the more longevity you'll have and the more happiness you will have because you're not gonna be perfect. People are gonna come for you, right? And you are gonna make mistakes and you already made mistakes. But when you take that accountability and you show that vulnerability and you own up, um, that's all you can do. And people will always respect that. So any person out there chasing your dreams, just know you don't always have to be perfect. Don't worry about the image. But when you do drop the ball, when you do fumble, take that accountability. But yeah, I got to get to work. I got to go edit a movie and uh, some big announcements coming this weekend. Make sure y'all tune in to my new show finding my romeo i think we found some pretty amazing juliets on this live you know we may do this a few more times i wanted to come on here have some fun and uh just get very personal with y'all but yeah most importantly stay blessed wait let me see i know somebody else from some of my friends are sitting me up before i get off because i don't want nobody mad at me let me see Oh, yeah, we got a lot on here, but I'm going to have to come back. Oh, man. Well, let me accept. Wait, one of my friends who actually did a reality show, one of the biggest dating shows. Let me see what she got to say about that world real quick. Hey. Hi. <laughs> what's going on? How are you? I'm good. Introduce yourself to the world for the people who don't know you. Um, Hi. My name is Mari. I was a contestant on The Bachelor a couple years ago. Um, and then I went on Bachelor in Paradise, where I met my now husband. <laughs> so you found love in the reality TV world of dating. I did. I did, which was a surprise. And previously, I was like, oh, it's just TV. It doesn't really work. Um, but mm -hmm. it can happen. So. So look, I had to go, but I seen you popped up on there. I just want you to give some gems or some advice to the ladies who are who's auditioning to be a Juliet on my new show. Like, give them some advice of just how to go across this process of finding love while filming a show. I think the most important thing is authenticity and just being yourself. I think that's the only way that you're going to attract what is meant for you. So you can't fake your way through it. You've got to put yourself out there and really be genuine and really be about the experience too, because in the world of reality TV, there's a lot of people who are, you know, in it for maybe not always the right reasons, but as they say. That's the thing, right? It's like, you got to enjoy the experience, but you're doing the experience while millions of people are watching. So I mm -hmm. feel that magnifies it. So how is that being in that bubble with that camera on you while you're trying to be vulnerable and share these life moments with somebody? Yeah, it's, it's a little, little bit difficult at first because you're not used to it, right? It's like, I'm just a normal person living my life and all of a sudden you're kind of thrown into the spotlight. There's people all over your social media making comments and kind of watching this journey as you're taking it. So it's definitely um, kind of a shock being thrown into it, but that's part of it. You got to learn how to get it. I got to say, you're a seasoned vet now, okay? Mm -hmm. And one of my good friends. So I may need a favor and may ask you to come co-host one of these seasons with me. I mean, you Absolutely. and your boo. I mean, <laughs> we could have all three of us on there since y'all actually found love in this world that I'm creating to help others find love. I would love to. Yeah, let me know. Y'all heard that. <laughs> we got her on my live. Write up the paperwork. Dr. Carter, where you at sign I'll her sign up tonight i'll sign it tonight <laughs> now but i appreciate you coming on here and we definitely want to dive in more because i want to pick your yeah. brain because you are actually a success of finding love on the show so ladies and gentlemen it is possible you see it right here <laughs> yeah we'll chat i have plenty of ideas for you so All let right, me know <laughs> for sure well appreciate it Bye. blessings and y'all i gotta go i gotta get to work <laughs> peace out